Canadian GP qualifying. Max Verstappen takes pole after Red Bull teammate Sergio Perez crashes out in wet Montreal. Max Verstappen dominated qualifying to take pole for the Canadian GP after his Red Bull teammate Sergio Perez crashed out in Q2, Fernando Alonso seals. Surprise second for Alpine. Watch the Canadian GP live on Sunday at 7 p.m. on Sky Sports F1, with build-up from 5.30 p.m. Max Verstappen took pole for the Canadian GP after his Red Bull teammate Sergio Perez crashed out of a thrilling wet qualifying session in Montreal. Fernando Alonso produced a stunning performance to snatch second for Alpine, while Carlos Sainz was third, with his Ferrari teammate Charles Leclerc starting the race from the back row of the grid after taking a penalty for a new engine. Sponsored link. Don't jeopardize your employees' work with bad audio and video. Hybrid try and buy, free trial. Recommended by. Lewis Hamilton secured his best qualifying performance of the season as he finished fourth, while his Mercedes teammate George Russell was eighth after a Gambletto try slick tires on a drying track at the end of Q3 failed. Canadian GP. Get ready for a later start on Sky Sports. Old man Alonso vows to attack for stopping into first corner. Leclerc to start on back row in Canada after taking new power unit. Haas excelled in the wet conditions as Kevin Magnussen came fifth, a place ahead of teammate Mick Schumacher, who will hope to back up the best qualifying performance of his career with his first points in F1 on Sunday. Daniel Ricciardo was ninth as his McLaren teammate Lando Norris was knocked out in Q2 after being hampered by a technical issue, while Alfa Romeo's Joe Guanya came tenth after making it through to Q3 for the first time in his debut F1 campaign. It's just a second pole this season for Verstappen, who will be confident of extending his 21-point world championship led in the dry conditions that are forecast for Sunday's race. The Dutchman has won four of the last five races, and his two nearest challengers, teammate Perez and Ferraris Leclerc, will start 13th and 19th, respectively. I think today with the tricky conditions we stayed calm, Verstappen said. We didn't make mistakes and we had the right calls in Q3. For 2005 and 2006 world champion Alonso, it will be the first time he started a race on the front row since the 2012 German Grand Prix. The 40-year-old also becomes the oldest driver to start on the front row since Michael Schumacher did aged 43 at the 2012 Chinese GP. The Spaniard has excelled all weekend, finishing in the top five in both dry practice sessions on Friday, before topping the timesheet in Saturday's wet third practice. It feels great, Alonso said. This has been an unbelievable weekend so far for us. While he is likely to have trouble holding off the race pace of his compatriot Sainz on Sunday, with Perez and Leclerc starting down the field, Alonso will be hopeful of adding the podium finish he secured at last season's Qatar GP. Canadian GP qualifying result. Top 10. 1. Max Verstappen, Red Bull. 2. Fernando Alonso, Alpine. 3. Carlos Sainz, Ferrari. 4. Lewis Hamilton, Mercedes. 5. Kevin Magnussen, Haas. 6. Mick Schumacher, Haas. 7. Esteban Akan, Alpine. 8. George Russell, Mercedes. 9. Daniel Ricciardo, McLaren. 10. Joe Guanyu, Alfa Romeo. Perez sorry for letting team down. With steady rain still falling as Q1 got underway at the circuit Giles Villeneuve, all 20 cars began on wet tires and Verstappen immediately found his groove, going clear of Alonso and Sainz as lap times improved throughout the sessions. It was only in the closing moments that it became clear who was genuinely at risk, and there were two surprise names that exited as Pierre Gasly and Sebastian Vettel were knocked out. Both had excelled in the wet in P3, and Vettel sounded tormented as he questioned on team radio what had caused the drop-off in speed between the two sessions. Vettel's Aston Martin teammate Lance Stroll was unable to give the soaked home fans anything to cheer as he went out in 18th, a place ahead of fellow. Canadian Nicholas Latifi, Yuki Tsunoda, who was condemned to starting from the back of the grid after an engine change penalty, did not attempt to make it through to Q2 and finished last. 
There was doubt as to whether Leclerc would take the same approach, but with Perez struggling the Ferrari driver perhaps realized there was a chance to push one of his world championship rivals into an early exit. In the end he wasn't required as Perez, having switched to intermediates in the drying conditions, took himself out in Q2 after locking up and going into the barrier at turn 3. Unlike Williams' Alex Albin who had a similar incident at turn 6 moments earlier, Perez became stuck in the barrier and a red flag came out that would delay the session and allow the track to dry out further. I did a mistake from my side so I am very sorry for my team, Perez said. I let them down today unfortunately. Hamilton so happy after sealing P4. A frantic finale to Q2 saw Hamilton and Sainz at risk, but both produced strong laps to advance. There were mixed emotions at Alfa Romeo as Valtteri Bottas was edged out by Esteban Ocon in the dying seconds, but a thrilled Joe celebrated over team. Radio AS he made it through to Q3 for the first time. With the track drying further before Q3 began, the question of whether anyone would dare try slick tires hung over the 12-minute session. It was only Russell who gambled, and the decision was quickly proven futile as he damaged his rear wing after bumping the barrier at turn 2. The improving conditions meant track position was important, with the last over the line holding an advantage, but that didn't apply to Verstappen, who was in a league of his own as he finished 0.6s clear. However, Alonso coming round the track after Sainz may have been crucial, as he edged the younger Spaniard by little more than a tenth to earn his spot on the front row. Hamilton's fourth place came after he had described the Mercedes as undrivable at the end of P2 on Friday, while the seven-time world champion ended a streak of three races in which Russell had outqualified him. I feel amazing, Hamilton said. I am so happy. P4 has never felt so good if I am really honest.